Welcome to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. It's a city that's everything all at the exact same time. They call Hong Kong Asia's world city. Hong Kong. What's up? How you doing? Good to see you today. If I'm being completely honest, I'm having such a hard time making this video. Like, I'm so stuck. Like, I don't know where to, I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to take you. Hong Kong is just such a hard city for me to even properly describe. So, rather than... but it only costs 35 cents and you get this beautiful harbor view. It's really hard to top of that. Hong Kong is one of the world's most densely populated cities. There are so many people here and it just keeps growing. There's not enough space to put them. And one of the, the symbols of that has kind of become this, which is affectionately known to a lot of people as the monster building. And it's not just one building, even though most people think that. It's actually five different buildings that have all kind of come together. But if you've seen this picture of Hong Kong before being so like ridiculous, a lot of times it's this building right here. It's over here in Quarry Bay. So um, just thought you might want to see that. subway and the bus but if there's nice open air the view is incredible but even better is the price it's only like 35 cents I'm having a really nice time up here just letting the view happen don't stick your head out you might get like that It's funny because a lot of people, when they think of Hong Kong, they think of all the, the giant skyscrapers and the modern shopping and everything, and all that totally exists. But there's also this interesting side of it, which you're walking through like the central business part of Hong Kong, and you just got tons of little shops and markets in the alleyways. A lot of cities in Asia are interesting because they're laid out in a way where similar businesses are next to similar businesses, kind of like districts, right? Well, so there's this one street here in Central where if you ever need to get a stamp made, you just come right down here and there's like 15 different people who can make a stamp for you. I don't know what it's called. I'm calling it Stamp Maker's Row. Oh my gosh, yep. I just made it to the peak tram and look at that. I'm here at the peak tram at a peak hour, which probably wasn't the smartest idea, but I really wanted to get up there for sunset if I can, but really I just wanted to see the peak at night. Pro tip, you've got all that line up in front of you, and that line is the ticket line. They're the same line, but if you have an octopus card, you can get a 7-Eleven and preload it. Yeah, you get to cut uh, past the first line, and so saves you a good amount of time. Now, the peak 
tramway began operating in 1888, so it's about 100 and I'll say 30 years old. It's uh, the most popular way to get up to the top of Victoria Peak. There's an observatory up there. Now, if you want to hike, you can actually go hike up to the very, very top and get a little bit away from that. But the thing is, yesterday was a record-breaking heat day here in Hong Kong, and we're in the middle of a heat wave, so that's why you've got a chubby guy in a tank top, even though I know it's not the best thing to look at. I'm sorry, but it's just too hot here. to the top of the peak then you will actually get dumped off into the peak uh, there's like a peak center up at the very top of the peak the people who own the railway built this giant touristy Madame Tussauds Bubba Gump you know the standard formula. The very top is the Sky Terrace, which is the viewing point where you go to if you don't want to hike anywhere. So I'm going to get the daytime view plus the nighttime view at the same time. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. <laughs> This view is spectacular and it was a dream of mine for a long time. When I first made my bucket list after a really hard time in life, I, my list of goals and dreams and aspirations, seeing this was on it. I wanted to visit Hong Kong, but this was, this right here was the picture of that in my mind. And so um, seeing it tonight uh, for the very first time has just been, it's been insane. Like this is, this is incredible. It's. You know, it's, it's a dream come true, literally. And what's funny about it, though, is that if you've been following me for a while, you know that I was actually here in January, and I did, didn't do this. Um, I was actually here at the Sky Terrace and didn't even do this. Like, this nighttime lit up view was the view I dreamt of, and I, I was here, I was in the city, and I still didn't even do it. Because when I was here, I wasn't all here. You know, I was focused on this, phone call and this issue I was having back home and I was dating this girl and yada 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 you know how it goes well the funny thing is is that in that season of life just even a few months ago I just I lost focus of who I was I lost focus of what I wanted to be um, and I lost I lost track of the things in my life that make me me and what things in my life that I can't compromise if I want to achieve my goals you know and I think that's the same for all of us I think a lot of times we lose our focus we have a dream we have an aspiration we just have something that we it's on our heart, we want to do it. When push comes to shove, we don't always put the time into it or we don't always take the step we need to to do it. We lose our focus, we lose our sight of it, and we, we never end up doing it. And you know, thankfully, in my case, uh, I was able to come back just a couple months later and, and do it again, but not everybody gets that chance. Or if they do, they don't you know, get a chance to do it for you know decades sometimes, you know? I regret far more things that I haven't done than things that I did do, you know? And I think most people are the same way. Whatever business you want to start, whatever place you want to visit, whatever that thing is in your life, whatever that goal is in your life, just don't lose sight of that, because uh, it's, it's worth it. You've got your giant Victoria Peak Hong Kong Island view waiting for you.